Good morning. It is Wednesday morning. Thought I would vlog today and maybe share what I'm eating today too. I had, um, I got some stuff for lunches this week. It's a salad. It's so good. I had it yesterday for lunch. And I'm getting ready. I ate half this dinner yesterday. I'm going to eat it on our way. We're going to go to the park this morning. It is 9 o'clock. It is 9 o'clock. And it is so, so nice here today. Low humidity. The temperature is like, I think, 70s right now. And I could not pass up this opportunity to go to the park when it's not... 90 degrees and super humid. So that's what we're going to do. And then after that, I placed a very small Walmart pickup order, not for groceries, but I got a few things. And specifically, Cal um, needed some batteries for a couple of his toys. So he's been asking about those this morning. So I, he actually went to Delaney's room and grabbed her charger that she uses to like charge her like tablet or something and um i was like no that won't work i'll grab you some batteries all right so we're gonna head to the park and then i gotta come home put a crock pot meal on for dinner i just thought i'd bring y'all on for a day all right we went to the park and then water oh you just rinsed it out went to the park then we uh which was fun they rode the carousel and the train at the park um so we went to the park and then we went and got a sonic drink because i was trying to kill time Hoping my Walmart order would be ready, and it never was. But it said after like 11:45 or something to be ready, which it wasn't quite there. But a lot of times it's ready early, earlier than that. So now I'm gonna throw in my crock pot recipe, which is not gonna be exactly what I was originally gonna do. First of all, I need more meat. I should have got two of these sirloin steaks. I have had this thawing out this morning. Then I don't have an onion, which I did have an onion, but I don't know if Ethan threw it away. Um, I don't know what happened to it, so it's going to be without an onion. So we're just going to do like sirloin steak tips in the crock pot. No onion, which I wish I had an onion. Alright, so let's um, get this ready. And we'll just have the meat and some stuff to go with it. All right, so I'm gonna keep this up or like cut this up into like steak bites. Two packages of this is what the recipe calls for. I say recipe, it's like a little reel I filmed. Um, but let me get a little cutting board to make it a little bit easier. Um, it is still a little bit frozen. All right, I'm just gonna cut this up into bites. I have loved some steak since the way I've been eating. It's like my favorite thing. Usually we'll have steak at least once a week. I'm gonna cut off the fatty parts because I do not like that. Okay, I'm gonna do, since I might cut the recipe in half, I'm gonna do like half a pack of brown gravy and ranch mix instead of the whole pack. Okay, and then we're gonna do maybe like a cup of this beef broth. Just a little bit of a different way to eat steaks. Normally we'll just grill it. All right, I'm gonna give this a good stir. I'm just gonna kick this on low for the day. All right, last time we had this, it was very tender and super yummy. All right, we ran to Walmart. My order was ready once I got done with that. So we ran and grabbed that, but I literally just got two packs of batteries. We already used one of them. I put them in putting his stuff. We got new sandwich bags. We needed some like sauce containers. Ethan will look for these for work and we never have any. And then just, we needed them. And then I got these for my salad, which at home it's perfect, but I kind of got some new salad bowls for on the go as well. We have like, we're going to like the zoo tomorrow and stuff. And I was going to bring my own lunch and bring my salad. I think this is going to be too big to bring on the go but it's gonna be perfect for my salads at home so that's literally like all i got on that order all right so i am gonna go we're gonna take a shower and get or get the kids some lunch and then probably take a shower or vice versa i don't know yet um but i want to share with y'all um thank you so much to bellway for sponsoring today's video it's been a while since i've shared bellway with y'all but they actually came out with a new um super fiber gummies um so this is actually the fiber i've been taking for 
quite some time for a long time now that um, just helps keep you regular keeps help help you to regular um, in a gentle way and they taste really well so these are the gummies that are really easy to take these are the raspberry lemon gummies they're organic they're vegan no sugar added but they are made with real fruit same thing for this as well this is their super fiber plus collagen so you've got the benefits of the fiber but it's also got benefits of collagen as well, which is like clearer skin, um, healthier skin, nails, and all those things. Um, this is the watermelon flavor of their Super Fiber Plus Collagen. It has collagen plus hyaluronic acid, which hyaluronic acid is really good for your skin. Um, it's got psyllium husk prebiotic, um, which is a more gentler fiber. And yeah. All it claims, it's got happy gut, less bloating. It helps with that. You feel fuller for longer, stronger hair and nails, youthful appearance, skin elasticity, and it's really easy to use. So you just take the gummy, super easy. And a lot of fibers don't have the best taste to them, but um, the Bellway fibers are really great. My biggest tip to um, help them dissolve is use like um, room temperature water. So you, you get like a little bit of water, stir it up. Um, but anyways, I thought I'd share that with y'all. It's a really great you can get it at Walmart, you can get it at Target, you can get it on Amazon. So I'll have a link below. So the link below is actually going to take you to the Bellway website where you can get 25% off your order. Um, my code is HWH25, so like home with Haley, but the initials 25. And that gives you 25% off your order. If you've not tried Bellway, it is a great source of fiber. It tastes really good. And you've got different options as far as like gummies or just a really easy fiber to just stick in some water and drink every day. So. lunchtime I am um, making a salad I've got some romaine cut up in there I'm trying to decide if I want to add the rest of that and make it a little bit bigger I think I'm going to all right so I've got that cut up I'm gonna add I'm gonna cut up a cucumber to put in there I'm also gonna cut some of these up I love these um, and I know I know sugar-free stuff is not the best ingredients um but these are really great those have a really good taste and i love this salad dressing so much then i'm going to add some shaved parmesan and then for the meat i picked up this boar's head firesmith flame grilled chicken um in the deli section and it is so yummy um so i'm gonna add a good bit of this as well all right added everything in and the dressing and added some black pepper Y'all, when I tell y'all, this is such a good salad. Um, it is so yummy. Some bacon would be really good on here to go with it, like bacon in your salad, or um, some like chopped pecans, or something like that. It is so good. So, anyways, I keep mine pretty simple, but it is such a good salad. I had this for lunch yesterday and enjoyed it so, so much. I am ready for the day. I eat lunch. My kitchen is. Mainly the dishes. I think if I can get these dishes done, we'll be good. I need to unload the dishwasher. Those dishes are clean. I need to fill the dishes back up. Feels good to be ready for the day. And lunch was so yummy as well. Um, because we're just having some quiet time watching TV. And it's so loud. I need to cut that down. But I'm going to um, clean up this kitchen. The kids have kind of cleaned off the table from their lunch. <laughs>
going out really quick to run up to the grocery store. Um, I would have got this stuff um, on Mom, my order Mom, this morning, Mom. but welcome to the grocery store. I'm gonna store, go bread. Man. I've got to make sure I don't have a lot of bread left, and that's what I'm doing for the zoo tomorrow is making sandwiches for the kids, and then make sure Ethan has one for work as well. And then I'm gonna grab some mac and cheese to go with dinner tonight to make sure um, the kids have something that I know they'll eat. And Ethan said mac and cheese with his as well. I'm gonna do something like kind of different with mine. Um, and then there's one other thing and I can't think of what it was. I feel like I've got a ton of stuff done today, but I feel like our day has been busy. And I'm trying to get a little bit of work stuff done. I have something I've got to turn in today, but we're gonna to run to the store really quickly. Supper, is, dinner in the crock pot is done, but um, I gotta make everything else to go with it though. All right, so for dinner, First of all, I totally forgot another ingredient in this recipe, but it's still good either way. So I ended up adding about a tablespoon of cornstarch and some water to that to thicken it up in there and it is ready to go. But what I forgot, okay, let me just tell y'all, I feel like it's just all over the place with that recipe because I forgot another thing. Okay, so this is how, this is what you do for the recipe. Oh, it's done. Okay, so it's two pounds of sirloin steak cut up or sirloin tips um, if you can find that i always get the steaks and cut them up and then um a couple tablespoons of minced garlic or fresh garlic and then that's what i forgot i didn't even put garlic in there an onion um about a cup of beef broth a pack of gravy mix a pack of ranch seasoning mix and then cook it on low or high low for like six hours high for like three or four and then when it's done, uh, a little bit of cornstarch, a little bit of water just for a thickener, put it in there and it thickens it up and then it's done. And that, that's like the actual recipe, but of course I didn't do it the same way, but it's still good though. Um, it's really good. It just kind of reminds you of Mississippi roast, but a little bit different. But it's really good with like served over mashed potatoes. I'm actually serving mine over broccoli to keep it healthy. Um, but I'm also making... Uh, Mac and cheese. Millie went to the grocery store with me. We didn't have any mac and cheese, so she picked, of course, this one. Um, and then we're also going to do some chicken nuggets for the kids that don't want that. Um, so frozen broccoli that I'm going to steam in the microwave. Also, let me tell you about our banana story. We, um, I got a grocery order yesterday, Monday. I got a grocery order Monday. And I ordered five bananas on my grocery order. Just five. Not five bunches. Five bananas and they ended up giving me five whole bunches of bananas we actually gave, gave some of them away but this is how many we've got left over i was actually gonna try to make banana bread today with the kids and totally forgot about it but yeah we got lots of bananas from that so anyways we're gonna do that we're gonna do you're probably gonna cook these baked potatoes to go with it hey yes i've got three of these I'm not gonna eat these, but I'll have some dinner rolls as well. So we have church tonight. So I've been trying to get things ready for the zoo tomorrow. I'm just gonna bring my big Lily J diaper bag that I don't use often anymore, except for like if we go like somewhere that I need to carry more stuff. So in here, I've got some snacks. So I've got a thing of veggie straws. Let's see if I can open it. I've got some Cheez-Its. I've got some of these. These are those chicken biscuit crackers. Diapers. Um, all the kids' swimsuits. i got an extra outfit for Cal. Um, Z-bars in there. So I've got to finish packing that as well. But I've got some packed. I've got sunscreen in here. Face sunscreen. If y'all have never used that, this is so good. I love this for the kids. It just goes on so well and it works really well. So, also cut up some fruit for it. Oh, my mac and cheese is done. Let's see. There we go. Cut up some fruit, strawberries, and stuff. And then um, later tonight, I'll make my salad for tomorrow and then um, make the kids like a pb and j or something Woo! steamed up my camera i wasn't expecting that but make the kids like a pb and j for tomorrow um the zoo we go to has like really good like eating there too i mean like easy things to eat but i think last time we went um we i ended up we ended up bringing our lunch it worked out really well to do that so we're just gonna do the same thing again and then save that money because i'm sure get some like snacks and dipping nuts 
things like that there. But I have finished my mac and cheese. I think my baked potatoes just got done. Chicken nuggets are just about done. I'm gonna throw the rolls in the oven because it is preheated. Super easy dinner for tonight. Ethan has the kids playing outside. <laughs> they like this whole video. I feel, I, it's probably not, but I feel like half of it is like my kids, like chaos in the background, which is fine. It's just how life goes, how my videos go as of right now. Um, some milk. But we are gonna, I'm gonna pick out all the kids' clothes for church tonight. Um, I haven't done that yet. And then this video has been so casual. I actually was not gonna vlog today. I woke up and got kind of started getting our morning started, and I was like, let's vlog today. So, super casual vlog, but um, hope y'all enjoy it either way. We still, uh, the kids have back to school orientation next week, and um, I think we have to bring supplies then. We haven't bought any supplies. We were gonna go out and do that yesterday, like everybody's family. And we didn't. So and then I thought well, maybe I'll do it today when Ethan got home. And Wednesdays are just busy. Wednesday evenings, and we decided not not to. And then tomorrow's busy. So maybe Friday will be the day we go. You can get school supplies or Saturday. So definitely this weekend, so we'll have everything ready. Um, I think we're pretty much ready. We've got uniforms. We got everything ready to go. And I'm not ready for summer to end. I like a schedule. So. It's like mixed feelings, like I'm not ready for summer end. I'm not ready for um, my kids to go back and they'd be in school all day. And I just have mixed feelings about that. Like sending them to school, first of all, like I love our school, but I'm like, are we doing the right thing by sending them or should we bring them home? But we really do love our school. And then also mixed feelings that, I mean, it's nice to have that routine every day as well. Also, while I'm making these baked potatoes, I always said, um, we'll take it schooling a year at a time. Y'all know we um, homeschooled Delaney when oh, that was hot. She was in second grade. That was when all the sickness COVID stuff started. And I wasn't sure what school was going to look like at the time. And if they were even going to go for the year. And are we going to pay for school when they're not even going. And they're going to have to do online school anyways. So we ended up doing, um, if y'all are new here, you may not know this, for her first grade year. We ended up doing homeschool. So we actually did an online homeschool. So we did um, a Becca Academy and it was great. Um, love a Becca so much. That's actually what the kids do at their school. Um, it's a very, it's a lot of work, um, a big workload for them. Um, especially a Becca Academy when they're in front of the, oh my goodness, I keep burning myself. When they're in front of the computer a lot, like all day. But it was a really good, I feel like a good choice for us for that year. Um, and I always said, as far as schooling, we will take it a year at a time. And this year, we're going back to where we went last year and the year before. So, where is this one going? This might not look the most appetizing, but so yummy. Sometimes healthy don't look the most appetizing, but it's going to be great. All right, dinner was good. I definitely missed the garlic flavor that it usually has, but it was good though. Um, very easy, very tender as well. Um, but I hope you enjoyed coming along. We're actually headed to church. The kids are actually heading to the car right now. So I hope you enjoyed coming along for our day, just a casual vlog. I need to do these more, but um, they're just easy for me to do as well. Just pick up the camera randomly throughout the day, but I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys soon for another one. Bye.